welcome back to my youtube channel this is our tutorial for today let's dive in in today's tutorial i'm using this yarn tanya it's a folk yarn and it's a hundred grams 98 percent acrylic and two percent metallic with a five millimeters hook make a loop Enter your hook into the loop you've created and chain 60. My chain 60 is ready. You're going to add three extra loops. One, two, three. And then those are three add one so that's like your one, first double crochet and the chain one so you're going to skip four five like the three is your double crochet the chain one is your chain one space so you're skipping five loops into the sixth with a double crochet chain one skip one loop into the next with a double crochet chain one skip one loop into the next with a double crochet chain one skip one loop into the next with a double crochet work this along the entire chain i'll meet you towards the end of my row I am getting to the end of my row skip one loop into the next with a double crochet chain one this is our last one skip one loop into the last with a double crochet so this is our row one row two chain one two three that's like your first double crochet turn your work then chain one as a chain one space wrap your yarn going to the top of the next double crochet with a double crochet chain one into the next double crochet with a double crochet chain one into the next with a double crochet chain one into the next double crochet with a double crochet do this I'll meet you towards the end of my row two. I am getting done with my row two. Come on the chain three loop on the in the on the top of the third loop and put a double crochet this is our row two row three chain three like your double crochet and then chain one like a chain one space and go on top of a double crochet with a double crochet and you're going to continue working this until you have a total of 30 rows for a size small to medium and you have you, you need to do your measurements so i'm not going to say size this do this take your measurements i am done with my 30 rows it's a little bit triangular as you can see and now we are going to do a cleanup chain one we're going to use a half double crochet so chain two that's like your first half double crochet and in each double crochet row you're going to put two half double crochets you're going to do it up and down this row and this row so wrap your yarn around the hook and start working a half double crochet and i like to use these loops because they help my 
double crochet row not look too clutter too disorganized i put one half double crochet in the loop and then one half double crochet in the double crochet itself you can see it as i work it so those are two half double crochets in each double crochet so i am going to fasten my video i meet you at the end of this row I am getting to the end of my row or rather my clean up come on the very first loop and put sorry a double crochet chain one and cut off the yarn do the same thing like I said on the down row my scissors are blunt so that part is done i'm going to clean up the lower part off camera attach the yarn and do the same thing i can show you a bit of the start make the loop come and enter in the very first loop make sure you're working from the wrong side of your top like this is going to be my messy side pull through chain two and do the same thing you are doing before i prefer to start from that first loop to maintain the the balance at the corner i don't know how to explain that but continue doing the same thing like we did before i'll meet you when my piece is ready so both sides i have cleaned up and i also worked the other part off camera this is it and the only difference between the two parts one has 30 rows and one has the back side of my top has 32 rows so you can but even if you have equal rows it is all right i just wanted a small imbalance as you can see I did the stitch marking of camera but I'm going to explain I I counted eight loops of the double crochets to create the neck the neck space shoulder to to neck eight loops so I have my neck space and then for the arm I counted 13 loops from shoulder to arm 13 loops you can do 13 you can do 14 we have different sizes so now we are going to fix those parts i removed the first stitch marker enter in the very first loop and the one at the back And then to the loop you've created, chain one. We are going to use a single crochet, going loop to loop at the back, do single crochet, you can also use a slip stitch but I prefer a single crochet at this moment like that so do it until you reach the stitch marker I'm done with that part. I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the shoulder. Make a loop. I want to start from the neck. And come remove the stitch marker. And 
enter your hook and enter it in the loop you created pull through chain one and do the same thing like you did on the other shoulder I'm done to create my neck space I'm now going to create the arm spaces so I have my stitch marker here I didn't have enough stitch markers so I hadn't fixed the other side come and I want to start from my underarm I'm still working from the wrong side I, sk I used I skipped 13 loops so come on the stitch marker make a loop and again do the same thing like you've done on your shoulders I'm getting done and come in the very first loops or stitch and do a single crochet chain one and cut off the yarn i'm done fixing both sides so now i am going to make a fold yeah a fold so first set your stitch marker you can count 10 uh, double loops from the neck or 12 loops from the neck depending on how large you've made your top or however you want it it's something you can do or you cannot do it's not necessary so attach your stitch marker on the loops you've on the loops you've picked then create a loop and make a chain a mini chain of around of about 20 or 30 come in the space you've created and pass your hook through you can even make the folds with your hand or you can pass through every five loops or every three loops like that if you have um, a band a stretching band you can use that I didn't I I initially wanted to use a stretching band but I, I didn't have any in stock so I went with this option that's the inside of our top that's why I said you need to work from the wrong side of your top so that you have this outcome I already have one arm made of camera so I'm going to show you how to do that it's just so simple uh, make a loop I could not do much I don't have a lot of yarn left come on the shoulder part it's where I prefer to start because I already have all the mess up here enter into the loop you have created and pull through and then chain three four the first three is your first double crochet then a chain one space go on the very start of the half double crochet you created and put a double crochet 
and then chain one go on top of the double crochet with a double crochet chain one go on top of a double crochet with a double crochet and circle through throughout the arm the entire arm I am almost back to where I started from chain one chain one and come in again on top of the double crochet on the half double crochet then chain one go on the chain three loop one two three enter your hook and slip stitch then I don't want to turn my work so I'm going to chain one two three then four and co just continue working until I have a total of seven rows so I'm going to fasten my video I'll meet you when I have seven rows I am getting done with my seventh row. You can also do eight, you can do ten, considering how long you can even do full long arms. You just have to continue with this all the way to your uh, to your arm, no wait, hand. So now I'm going to do a half double crochet, chain two, go in each loop with half double crochet. And circle it along the entire um, I am getting done go on top of the first chain to enter into the first loop and pull through chain one and cut off your yarn and tada that's our top this is it it's absolutely gorgeous and it's very simple beginners friendly you can play around with it however you want give this video a thumbs up give it a like if you're not subscribed like subscribe Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.